Under Fire Series, Episode 3, Take 2. Alright, what's up guys, Future Me for Christ here, and this is Episode 3, yes, I know, 3 of my Under Fire Series, and I know I haven't been so consistent, but hey, here it is, Episode 3, and let's see, what weapon are we going to do today? Ooh, do, 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 do. Desert Eagle is. Alright, so, we will be reviewing the Desert Eagle, and I'm getting all my facts from the Firearms the Illustrated Guide to Small Arms by Chris McNabb. I'm not related to, Don related to Donovan. Um, so, this thing was created in partnership with the uh, Israeli uh, military forces, as well as the United States, so Israel and the U.S. helped to design this beast that we now call in the COD community as the Eagle. Overall, this thing comes in four standard, or I think it's only either four standard or four total different barrels that you can choose from. One being 9mm Parabellum, the other being I believe it is 357, 357 Magnum to be exact, the 44 Magnum, and the 50 uh, AE or Action Express. Oh, God, I don't know how I did that. So, with that, it's gas operation. It is a gas operated uh, firearm, so it uses the gas from the escaping bullet, from the last bullet to push the uh, piston, the uh, the thing, push the slide back so you can shoot it again. So, with that, I cannot see where he's at. Okay. And with that, its weight is three and a quarter pounds or 1.7 kilograms with a six inch barrel or a 152 millimeter barrel, it comes in at a total length of 10 and a quarter inches, or um, 10, uh, 260 millimeters. Its barrel length is 6 inches, or 152 millimeters, like I mentioned. Muzzle velocity for a 357 Magnum out of this gun is approximately 1,430 feet per second, or, hang on a second, or 436 meters per second. And if you notice, this thing's got quite an uplift, so you're not going to be going like this anytime soon without having a lot of muzzle rise or muzzle climb. And to be quite honest, this is the, I believe it is the Desert, the uh, 50 caliber one. And it feed, oh, hold on a second, so I don't die here, I'm going to run around. It feeds from a seven round box type, hang on, yeah, box magazine capacity depends on the caliber, is what the book says. So this must either be the 44 Magnum version or some form. Now, if you notice that muzzle climb really kills you. Alright, so the IMM is one of the world's most powerful handguns, chambering in a variety of extremely potent rounds, including the 357 Magnum, the 44 Magnum, and the monstrous 50 caliber AE or Action Express. Okay, so. Alright, so let's put my ammo here. The gun can be switched caliber, so you can't take the slide off of one and put a new slide on it. You can also add very barrel lengths as well as, well as various calibers. So, 
Yeah, no body armor in the world. I don't think. I, I could be wrong on that. But, uh, yeah. This thing. If you get hit with this thing, you're going down. And if you get hit in the limb with it, you're losing that limb. I'm sorry to say. But I believe I read a doc. I watched a documentary on this. And it said it was designed to punch holes in engine blocks for the Israeli army. Because, you know, you don't want to have to carry a giant rifle. You just want to pull it out and go bang and jump, punch a giant hole in the, in the uh, engine block. Alright, good, got it. Alright, we can add a 6 inch, an 8 inch, a 10 inch, and a 14 inch barrel. The trigger and hand grip configure can also be changed, so you can add, so you can change the, uh, muzzle, like the, uh, you can change the grip and the trigger pressure, and like how hard it is to pull. To cope with the powerful cartridges, that is will uses a gas operation mechanism with rotating bolts to perform locking. It remains a formidable handgun to fire. Along with this, there is also no other 50 caliber handgun in existence, if I am correct. I'm pretty sure I am, because I read up on this stuff before I do all the episodes. Yes, and the only other weapon that is in this category of handgun in the 50 caliber range would be the Smith & Wesson 500, and that thing is a monster. My one cousin was dating uh, one of the, the daughter of, uh, I believe, yeah, it was a, if you guys live in Pennsylvania, it's a little store, it's a little uh, food restaurant called Cuppy's Diner, and the owner is a real great guy, I've uh, known him for all my life, and he's a big gun nut. And apparently he owns a, uh, I think it was like a six, uh, he owns a really short barrel version of this. So, this thing, and I watched the video on Facebook, it knocked her. And she's a, not big woman, but she's an average sized woman. And she was bombed, she was knocked basically on her butt from firing one shot at, from the uh, monstrous 50 caliber AE round. Um, so this is on survival mode, if you want to notice, if you do want to know. Um, I don't normally do at this bag, because I usually have a primary out. But since this is the Under Fire series, and if you are new to this Under Fire series thing, um, I say one, welcome, and two, I get the entire episode with, I put up a video, and with that video, I only use the designated weapon of the week. So trying to use the Desert Eagle has been not too bad of a challenge, actually. It's just going to be a challenge right now because I have helicopters circling in my head. But, uh, if you guys want a link to Under Fire episode, if you want the episode 2, I can put a link in the description. Just comment on yay or nay. Also, you're probably not going to be able to fire it this fast unless you are one really strong or B, you have some monster script. Also, do not have sleight of hand. The only perk I do have is self revive. So, with that, I have about a minute 20 seconds left, so I'm going to continue shooting down helicopters with this. And I'm done. I am just going to start crawling back before they. Oh, no. Oh, okay. So, I died. I survived five rounds using straight Desert Eagle, with maybe one exception with the five round, with the first round using only the USB because I had to use it because I didn't have the Desert Eagle. But I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, so comment, rate, and subscribe, please. If I can get this thing to turn off.